The PlayStation 2 was released with the potential to create stunning worlds that game players have never seen before. Now, there's a game where that potential has been realized. Eco is a new game from SEI that puts the player in a wondrous fantasy world on a quest to save a princess and themselves. The story of Eco begins in a small village. Every generation, a boy is born with horns on his head. The boy is believed to be evil, and the villagers sacrifice him to cleanse the village of evil spirits. The boy is led away to a castle to be sacrificed. By sheer accident, he's able to escape. So now he's roaming the castle and trying to find a way out. However, and here this game differs from other games, there was another prisoner in the castle, a girl named Yorda. Eko meets her, and, hand in hand, the two of them try to escape from the castle. It's a different kind of story. Escape will not be easy. Yorda and Eko must first battle many enemies and solve a series of mind-bending puzzles to emerge safely from their prison. The castle is built on the edge of a cliff. On one side of it, there's a terrace with a majestic window. On the other side is a vast ocean. The sea breeze blows in and the windmill turns. The castle walls tower above it. It's an extremely beautiful atmosphere. The place feels like a famous tourist attraction. Beyond the amazing scenery, the game is enhanced by the movement of objects, such as the swaying of hanging chains and the turning of the windmill. We were sure that this was done using motion capture, but we were wrong. Well, PlayStation 2 has incredible computing power, but if you import realistic physics into a game, you get something that you didn't expect. It's too realistic. The key is to present it so it looks believable, but it is still exciting gameplay. It took us a tremendous amount of time to master that balance. We obsessed over the look and feel of the game. We animated everything by hand to capture our imaginations, to bring to life what was happening inside our heads. In the beginning, you've got something that's been clearly and deeply imagined. We investigated a lot of different methods, developing different technical approaches to bring it to life on the screen. We worked really hard at it, and the result is the sort of game that you see. All of their work paid off. Eco shows off the graphical power of the PlayStation 2 to its fullest. Be sure to take a look at this beautiful world for yourself.